Hello everybody and welcome to another Machete Pro. My name is of course Polly B, the owner slash commentator slash announcer for Machete Pro Wrestling. Wrestling. And tonight we have ourselves a pretty decent match card for this is Machete Pro number five, Fight the Future. Uh, today's match card is somewhat very important. I, mostly the main one very important because uh, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that a little bit sooner, but today's match card, not a bad match card we have here. Uh, opening the show will be Death Yamasan taking on Rusev, Zachary Wentz taking on Mandy Rose, Jigsaw taking on the just recently found Eddie Only, Yuji Nagata taking on Soji Kond Konda, Yoshiro Takayama taking on Asuka, uh, Christian Casanova taking on Lah Lahirida, Brad Reinigans taking on Primate, and of course in the main event, Keith Lee taking on Calvin Tankman. So of course, let's start with the opener, which is of course Tetsuyama san versus Rusev. If I can find the two. I also downloaded a lot more people, especially for MLW, if anyone's noticed. Uh, I did that yesterday. I don't know if we'll see them there. Where the hell is... Did I assume she's under here? There she is. Tetsuyama san here, of course, taking on... Not named Miro, so he is not God's greatest champion, but close enough. He's got his own day. You know, happy Rusev Day, by the way. It's a very important day for everybody here, as I now look for him. Where the hell is he? That's... <laughs> Where the hell is this man? He's here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's gonna be rocking, of course. Oh, he's got a suit. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so here we go with our first match of the night. Death Yamasan taking on Rusev. <coughs> This one's gonna be a pretty good match. Also, of course, Judge Millwain's back at his job again here. And of course, Rusev somewhere in the advantage here. Taking down the Death Yamasan. Getting a special lock then. Does not tap out though. Death Yamasan having Rusev in a headlock there. Lifts. <laughs> oh, good lord. Just lifts her up. Another submission hold. Does not get the job done. Throw the punch, does work. Drop kick misses. Off the cut there by Tetsuyama. Oh, the forearm there. Rizzo, of course, is a, uh, I believe he's a two, three time United States champion. Maybe, you know. Uh, that's really about it. He was undefeated at one point, losing to John Cena. It's not bad. Yeah, he ah. does get done in the corner here. Reverse is out of it, though. Cover. Gets a two. Fake uppercut there by Tessiyama. And a big punch to the headlock with a headlock there. Headbutt. And a stomp and another stomp. And a kick to the thigh there. A big body slam. Oh, job ball there. Punch. And then a big old clothesline cover. Gets a two, surprisingly. Irish whip. Punch. Kick. And really ripping the. Scraping her shoe off. On Rizzo's chin there. And stomp to the gut. And a big old. That was an impressive move there. Give me cover. Gets, gets a one though. Oh, follow away slam there. A la Ska Hall. Ah. Oh, heck, body drop. An attempt to drop kick there. Does not work. Rizup is tired. Oh. Now, Rizup is trying to take a breather, but that's the on the advantage. Will not give this man a break at all. And a well. <laughs> Took too long there, taunted there. Tease for the brain buster, but does not work. Harsh whip, and an attempt to shoulder tackle does not work. Ruzef taking the time to get a breather. And a big uppercut. Cover. Could this be it? It is not. Good. No suplex there, no brain buster. She's going up to the top though. Drop kick. Cover. One, two. Only gets a two though. Does not get the three. Oh, 
I don't know what Rizzo's plan there was. I thought maybe he was going to be able to stand up there, but I guess not. Elbow to the back of the head. Roll up pin cover. I only get the one, though. Pretty good start it. Whoa, backslide. One, two, two, no. We're really on each other here. Alabama slam. Rusev, not from Alabama. As far as I'm aware. And a suplex throws Stephanie on the outside. Oh, there's countouts. Forgot to turn that off. Whoops. I'll turn that off later. Oh well. This match will have countouts. Who cares? Elbow to the yeah. upper back. Fighting spirit. Yeah. She goes up to the top. Big boy senton. Cover. One, two. two. No, gets a kick out. And a, and a big old suplex there by Deathyama. And, and a Three. suplex there. Pin. Oh, I'm gonna get to the three count there. <clears throat> I'm gonna get to the three there. Kick to the gut. Rizov goes down. The Bulgarian group not really getting the advantage here. We could see. We could see Dathyama taking the W here. As she, as she gets into the corner, but reverses out of there. Elbow to the back. Elbow to the face. Roll up. Could this be it? No. Back and forth, this match has gone. Good opener here for the fifth show of Machete Pro. That sort of rhymed. <laughs> I'll take it though. Back drop there. Definitely almost back up on the advantage. Lock up. Russian leg sweep. Rus Rusev with the cover. It's over. He wins with the Russian leg sweep. I was gonna say, Rusev is not Russian, he is Bulgarian. But he picks up the win. At 14 minutes. Good lord, good on him. There you go, Rusev. Winning the first match of this contest. Of this show, sorry. As we now go change the countouts, because I forgot to do that. Apologies, I kind of messed up this. Also, I forgot to change this. So, I hope y'all don't mind. As we now go to our second contest here, another intergender match here. Zachary Wentz of the Rascals taking on Mandy Rose, who may be fire or desire, whichever you want. I mean, hey, no one ever said it was anything particular. Where the hell is Impact? There it is. I, he should be in here. Oh, that's right. This is freaking weird. There he is. He's going to be wearing uh, green and purple. Oh, convenient enough, I'm already here. So that's good. Nope. God damn it. Alright, this works too. Fuck it. It's a lot easier. Alright, we'll wear this one. Fuck it. First, we're gonna look at the rules here. Uh, three counts. Everything seems to be alright. Level 9. Speed is the same. On the outside, speed is fair. Critical is normal. Individual that this doesn't really matter because there's no entrance away. I've also decided to put uh, run-ins as low I didn't want to keep it, but I figured it would make things interesting So I'll keep it on for now in case we get anybody But here we go with our second match of the evening Zachary Wentz taking on Mandy Rose and it's starting right now So get ready <coughs> I look that one a lot longer and here we go Zachary Wentz, of course, a uh, interesting individual. He's a former CCW World Tag Team Champion and a former PWG World Tag Team Champion. Mandy Rose, uh, not a lot of accomplishments. She was a part of the 2015 Tough Enough. But aside from that, not really any championship gold around her waist. She has fought for a title. For a title, but that hasn't gotten the W. But she seems to be holding advantage here against Zachary Wentz, someone who's seen as more so of a tag team specialist here. We don't see a lot of tag teams here in Machete Pro. So, stomping on the back of the leg there, as he grapples Mandy with the clothesline, but gets thrown onto the outside. God damn it, I don't, do I not have countouts off? I thought I turned off countouts. Okay, I guess DQ count is not what it is. God damn it. My, my this one will also have countouts, I guess. It's been a long day. <laughs> And it's only, it's not even noon as I'm recording this. But anyways, head, a uh, head, uh, thrown to the head, the corner there. They're chopping, and a bunch. 
wins winning the exchange here. Doing a flip cover. The back of his gear says ooh ooh. That's awesome. Oh, ball big boot cover. Dude. Oh, okay, getting almost got a three there. Oh. Oh, sort of a uh a sister abigail there. He's going. He misses. And gets an elbow to the back of the head for his troubles. Oh, lifts him up. Hits him with a move. Locking in that hold here. Gets a rope break though. Got a kick to the head. With a drop kick as well. Zachary wins taking the advantage here. Duck under. And another one. <laughs> she gets right back up though. She's oh, power bomb cover. Doesn't get the pin. Doesn't get it. Rope break. Goes for a few punches. Andrew Rose says, Gana. I was gonna make from there, so my apologies. Both opponents are down, but both of them back up. Maybe stays. Zachary wins trying to go for a knee there. But gets a Ushigurushi. Not a Ushigurushi, sorry. I kinda forget what that one's called. I always forget Ushigurushi's the one with the knee. <laughs> Another kick to the head. Zachary wins. That does have MMA experience. He has fought in MMA before. Not in a major platform, but that still does it anyways. Gotta give him credit. I think he's also been in a blood sport. And a GCW event there. And all her can run by Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose has been taught by probably some of the not the best names in wrestling, but she's been taught by some pretty good trainers. You, know, you got Matt Bloom over there in the performance center, you got Norman Smiley, and you even got Sarah Motto, Sarah Del Rey. You know, it's not not too bad, not too not too worse cover. In the terms of trainers. But like I said before, Mandra's not really been perfect in terms of accomplishments. Both competitors might be counted out here. Actually, I might just keep this here. They both might get counted out. There is also a 20 count here, because why not? Kick to the gut, misses. Another kick to the head. Wentz gets up to the top here. Goes for a drop kick, connects. Picks up Rose. And another knee. Trying to go for that for a long time. Mandy with the submission hold. Could Wentz tap out here? He doesn't. With an elbow to the back of the head. Really weakening the that neck there. I guess it's more so the neck than the back of the head, but I don't know. The back of the head doesn't go. Low blow. I guess take whatever you have to do. It doesn't wear... Make sure you wear a cup when you're wrestling. You never know when things like that happen. And a drop kit. Or drop... Just drop a suplex. <laughs> suplex there. And a elbow to the back, to the neck, double stomp. Not a killing blow though. And another knee. He's really trying to connect with this. Oh, nose breaker, code breaker. Could this be it? Is this a Chris Jericho match? It's a Chris Jericho match, ladies and gentlemen. Zachary Wentz taking the W for this match. Pretty good, pretty good match there between these two. Two, really. It seemed like Zach was trying to knock out Mandy with that kick, but just wasn't doing it. Oh, it's also called a double knee chin crusher. Well, I like co nosebreaker codebreaker, but that just sounds funnier to me. But anyways, we're going to go to our third match here. Jigsaw taking on, as I mentioned, the recently found uh, Eddie Only. He went missing for like eight months. I don't know why, though, but he just went missing. Do I have any? Uh, oh, okay, that's Eric Ryan, sorry. I thought I had Effie in 44-0. I mean, he technically was a member, but then I think he left the same day he joined. Why do I not know where Jigsaw is at? There he is. Jigsaw, of course, with the mask. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's gonna wear this one, I like this one. Don't really know a lot about these two. Jigsaw, kind of been a long name, long time name in the independent circuit been making his name known around the world hasn't really found that big break however but he might make that big break here tonight if he defeats eddie only who knows who knows what could happen here wait there he is of course member of the 44-0 is i don't even wear this one yet okay which one's so is this is count out yeah, okay, so then this didn't save me, okay. There we go. I think that should be good in terms of count-outs. So here we go, third match of the count of the show, Jigsaw taking on Eddie Only. Appreciate everyone for watching here. Hope you're all having a good time here. 
as as we now start off our third match of Gonzo series. This match has been pretty quick, albeit. Albeit sometimes very long. But you know, it is like that. Jigsaw getting the advantage here, get the chop to the head for his troubles, and a punch in the gut. Cover already. Does not get the three. Does not get the three though. I'm gonna have to do a lot more than that. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the main event for our show here, Keith Lee taking on Calvin Takeman, has a very major implication. As we're gonna go to commercial break right now. back from commercial here so here we back we are eddie only gets thrown in the corner here and then a good old arm drag for his troubles jigsaw continuing advantage of this matchup so far as he gets a body slam as he gives a body slam not gets oh shining wizard a la the uh, great muda or kenji muda whatever you want to call him uh, body slam by eddie only and a chop off here goes for an overhand chop Jigsaw with the knife edge. Oh, he's dazed. And a punch to the face there. And another one to the only. And a good old scoop and a slam there. By Eddie the only cover. Got a one though. Jigsaw. Can't get any advantage. Picks up Eddie the only. As he goes for. Oh, tries to go for drop it, but gets a low blow instead. Again, please wear a cup for these matches. Camera will clutch. Does not get humbled. His back is fine. And a drop kick to Eddie only. His back might not be fine. As he gets a shoulder tackle in though, so I guess his back is fine. Irish whip, a big boot. I guess a bicycle kick there. Double stomp. We saw that earlier. Cover. One, two. two. No. Dragon. Oh, I, some, someone, I think Jigsaw's busted open. Shining wizard. Oh, could be going for some. Whoa! An impressive move. Gets a, the cover. Only gets a two. That was a pretty impressive move by Jigsaw, though. And a whoa, corkscrew. Good lord, Jigsaw really making, showing his presence here. Really making his presence known here. As I now fix my headphones because the freaking thing's falling off. Sorry about that. Alright, there we go. And it just throws him. Right there. And a, oh, the score. We're being death drop there. And a knee. Breaking the back, taunt, he's taunting. <laughs> Jump for a shoulder tackle. All right, well, I mean, you do you. Go whatever falls to the boat. Ooh, cover. Impressive move there. Could this be it? It is not. Get the two though. Jake saw. Ooh. I'm telling you, Jake saw's innovative. One, Bella cover two. though. Gets a two though. He's really throwing everything here at Eddie only. And another double stone. Cover. Could this be it? It is not it. Eddie only kicking out of everything that this man has. Oh, good lord. Turn to the outside. Count us are off. That was the right thing. It was not DQ count. DQ count was something different. Gives a leg. These two are fighting on the outside. Oh, oh. Eddie only really trying to. Oh, what is this? Oh. Uh, yeah, impressive, you know, get, good on you for trying to pin, but that is not gonna work. You're gonna have to do a lot more than that to take down Ada. Shining Wizard, yet again. Jigsaw bleeding on the mats here. Probably gonna have to replace that later as he taunts. 
Any Jigsaw is tired out here. Another double stomp. Could this be it? Mills Lane with the pin. Not it. Eddie only really just not giving Jigsaw anything here. As he drops him on his knee there. Lifts him up. Takes him down. Eddie only just really taking advantage of Jigsaw here. As he taunts. And a, and a big old arm drag there. But Jigsaw is back in the advantage. He gets back up. Whoa. Uh, it's kind of a spiral tap there. A la AJ Styles. As he throws Eddie only into the corner there. Okay, you go up to the top. But what? Oh my god. Super body slam. One, Cover. Two, that's all you, That's that's all he wrote. Eddie only. Picking up the win. I mean, he, you, know, you must be thinking after being lost for the longest time. He probably, you would have thought he would have been rusty, but no, I guess not. Eddie only with a, oh, an avalanche Oklahoma stampede, not a body slam. Fuck, it's the same thing. Who cares? Power slam. Yeah, it's potato potato. Anyways, we're now going to go to our next match here. Yuji Nagata, former IWGP heavyweight champion. And I believe he was triple crown champ and also GHC. I don't know if he, actually, was he GHC? He might have just been GHC. I don't think he was Triple Crown. I really should do my research before these, but I, you know what? I've been busy. So, leave me alone. <laughs> of course, he is taking on uh, Soji Kanda. Someone I've never really heard before, but it could be an interesting fella here for Machete Pro. <laughs> Wait, is he not here? Where is he? I didn't get rid of him. Where the hell did I put him? I thought he would have been here. Is he in? Was he a custom guy? Am I stupid? Oh, he's a custom guy. Oh, whoops. Ah, right, well, fuck it. First time we're having an SWA representative here. Normally, I don't like using the SWA people because they're not real, but I guess we'll take an exception here with Soji Kanza. As he takes on Yuji Nagata. Both looking almost exactly the same. Really looking the same. <laughs> but here we go. With our half uh, halfway through the show here. Our fourth match of the night. Fight. And here we go. Big body slam. These two starting off. I really should have checked where Soji was. Oh, armbar. It's out though. Both of these men, I assume, would have uh, MMA experience. Yuji Nagata... Not the best, but, you know, can't really blame him. The guy was facing two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world at the time. In Fedor Milianenko and Mirko Krokop. As I now fix my headphones. Because it's weird like that. Oh, tripping at a kick there. Takes, tries to take him out, does not. At a, oh, whoa, okay. Very impressive. Really going for the submission to uh, Sochi here. Very, really looking for those submissions. A lot of people here in Machete Pro like to just go for the offense. They like to go for the punches, the kicks, the the, the stand-up game. Not, not Soji here. He's really kind of just taking his opponent down here. Really taking down Nagata. Blue Justice himself. As he locks him in in an ankle lock of sorts. Does not tap out though. Goes for a kick. And a big ol' belly to belly. And a body slam gets thrown to the outside there. Yuji Nagata being very respectful of his opponent here. He's a veteran of very... He's been in the business for a very long time, of course. Of course, he's been around the world. Soji, I don't know if he's going to show that same amount of respect to Yuji here. It's only questionable. Oh, arm bar. Could this be it? It is not. Soji's still in it. Soji really wanting to prove a point here tonight. As he gets kicked to the thigh twice. And a few more. Oh my god! So, well, they, that's how you make it known. I was. Wow! Soji Kanda knocks out Yuji Nagata in less than 10 minutes. Holy crap! Okay, I know I was talking about him wanting to go to the ground there. Good lord! He just knocked him out. Well, there you go. I mean. I mean, wow, just, I, I don't know what to say, but that's, that's really, 
I mean, goddamn. <laughs> I, well, what else can you say? Oh my lord. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this one is going to be a barn burner as well as we have Yoshihiro Takayama, a former IWGP Heavyweight Champion and a former uh, Triple Crown Champion. I don't think he was ever GHC. Actually, he might have been GHC. I really need to do my research before this. I'm so sorry. Again, it has been a long day. And it's not even noon. It is like 11 right now. But he's taken on, of course, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. In this match, in the contest, I pretty... I don't know, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still speechless from the... From the... Uh, from the Yuji Nagata Soji Kanda, I was not expecting Kanda to just knock out Yuji Nagata like that. I mean, that's, whew. When you see something like that, you're, you, you just you, you just get speechless. But anyways, we're gonna go to our fourth to final match of the show. Yoshihiro Takayama taking on Asuka. Now, these matches have been something. I, I, I think Yuji Nagata and Soji Kanja has been the shortest, but here we go. Asuka with a big old body slam there to Yoshi or Takayama. Takayama, like Nagata, uh, has competed in MMA before, taking on not not the best streak either, but he's, he's probably one of his most famous fights is against Don Fry, and a hell of a just a meat, a soup bones, potatoes, whatever you want to call them punches galore it's an incredible fight if you've never seen it it's probably on youtube or on ufc fight pass if they have a lot of the pride stuff i don't use it because i have better things to do but it's it's something but asuka here is no slouch either longest reigning nxt women's champion at 523 days is a former uh, former two-time raw women's champion and former smackdown women's champion uh, former Smash Divas champion as well. Well, she's done it all. She's basically an inspiration. Have you ever seen Konami in Stardom? Uh, I believe she's a, a student of Asuka here. Not to be confused, of course, with uh, the other Asuka in... Uh, I forget which promotion, but the transgender Asuka, of course. Takayama, of course, as I mentioned, is a former... A former uh, IWGP Heavyweight Champion and a former GHC Heavyweight Champ, I believe. Him and Mizawa fought. To, oh, here we go. That we saw, this is what I was talking about. But <laughs> Asuka is no Don Fry, but she is no tough. She's not. She's not a slacker either. She can take a whooping. Uh, she stepped in the ring with uh, a good friend of Yoshi Takayama, Minoru Suzuki. She stepped in the ring with him. She took. An ass whooping. I wouldn't advise watching that video, cause that is uh, it's it's brutal. Roll up though. Gets definitely gets one though. And it gets oh chicken chicken wings over there. A seated chicken wing though. And a knees to the gut cover. Two gets a 2.9. These matches these matches have been really close today. I I don't know why. They really shouldn't be that close at all. But you know. Screw it. I, I'm appreciating it. I guess this makes my job easier. And then kick to the face there. That was Asuka. Irish whip to the corner. Punch to the face. Kicks to the gut. Three kicks there. But Takayama is still up. Takayama is a fighter. He's a warrior in his own right. Oh, we saw this, we saw this little bit of the submission hold by Mandy Rose earlier tonight. Throws talking about Asuka going up to the top here. Oh, just throws herself at Takayama. Tries to throw him back in the ring, doesn't work. Referee, of course, is Judge Mills Lane. Of course, as I mentioned, we have uh, three more matches to go. The final match, the main event, has a lot of important. It's, it's an important match, to say the least, here in Machete Pro. It's a very important match. Uh, something I will discuss before the match here. As Takayama gets a big old leg drop. Uh, Asuka and Takayama oh, gets a kick, knocks down. Uh, Takayama there, cover two. It's over. Asuka picks up the win. Wow.
impressive showing there. As I mentioned, Asuka's no slouch, you know, she's she can hold her own with the toughest of the tough. Good lord. Well, there you go, the big big dub there. Five for Asuka. Probably the first first uh woman to win the intergender matches, but we have another one, our final intergender match for the night, as Christian Casanova takes on Lahida. Lahid Lahidra? I I totally botched it the first time, but I should I should learn these names. They no, Christian Casanova is not here. I think he might be here. I'm pretty sure he's here, because I moved them around. Where is he? There he is. Christian Casanova. That's the same gear, sort of. Fuck it, we'll go with this one. Uh, have we seen Lahidra here? In Machete Pro? I, I feel like we have. I know we've, we've seen a, some luchadors here. I don't know if we've seen Lahidra before. I feel like we have. But, uh, anyways, here we go though with our third and f third to final match of the night: Christian Casanova versus La Hydra. Here we go. It's gonna be could be a good match here. I mean, as we, we're around uh, 31 Hi. minutes. This might be a short Machete Pro upset. Whoa! Very impressive by uh, he he did out there. Leap frog by Christian Casanova gets bumped into. Casanova, I believe, is a former uh, Limitless wrestling champion. He's a uh, very impressive talent. A lot of people are liking. He's had, I believe, he had a match against uh, Alex Zane at a Beyond show. I've only seen a little bit of the match. It's pretty good. Pretty good match. Highly recommend anyone to look that up on YouTube.com or just I don't know why I said YouTube.com. Bahidra. With a triangle for a senton there. Doesn't work though. Casanova goes for a dropkick, does not connect. Throws to the corner there. Shoves. Chops. Uh, getting a lot of chops there. Must be a barbecue house, huh? Oh, American Rana. Irish whip, reversal though. Leap fog. And a Hurricane Rana. That sounded like that hurt though. Good lord. That sounded painful. Lucky Drew working on the arm there could go for some submissions on that arm. Oh, Christian Casanova taking down Hedra there. Both of these competitors are now down. Oh, punch and a chop, chop and a punch, chop and a punch, and a punch wins. Punch is the strongest move. As I now move my headphones really far away from me because why wouldn't I? That's gonna be really loud in the recording, and I totally apologize. Okay, I hate these headphones right now. They're really bothering me. Please, for the love of God, make my life easy for once. Anyways, Casanova, back in advantage here. Hold on, for fuck's sakes. Alright. If it moves down again, I'm just gonna leave it as, as it is. Alright, fuck, we're just gonna move it as, we're just gonna have it like this. Because God can't make me happy for once. <clears throat> Casanova goes up to the top, though. Dropkick, didn't look like that connected there, but I guess it did. I, I pulled that uh, bun down there. Well, you really shouldn't have a bunch. Super kick by Casanova. And a drop kick by Casanova as well. And it goes for a low spinning leg drop there of sorts. Elbow to the up to the upper back there. Lahidra going for the neck. Oh, Mills Lane is down. Not again. Leapfrog could get the pin here, but Mills Lane is down. Uh, we saw this last week. He took an absolute uh, whooping, but you know he couldn't call the main. He couldn't referee the main event last week, which was of course Michael Sadamura taking on Sasha Banks, with Sadamura winning the contest. Oh, oh boy, really going for those knees there. Backslide, One, cover two. two. Whoa, almost almost gets the three. Almost gets the three. One, Roll up. Two, Could this be it? Three. It's over. Casanova winning. This matchup in less than 10 minutes. Short matches here tonight. A lot of, a lot of. This is gonna be a very short episode of Machete Pro. Good lord. Anyways, I'm gonna fix my headphones right now. So.
Alright, fix my headphones. Should be good for now. Uh, it'll probably move down later, but here we go. We're gonna go to our semi-main event. Uh, Brad Reinigans. Or Brad Reinigans. Whatever you wanna call him. Taking on, uh, Primate. As I now go look for... This man. There he is. The Olympian himself. I believe he's a, uh, Maybe he was a... Yeah, well, he's an Olympian, of course. Speaking of the Olympians, Olympics are happening right now. Not bad. I've heard they're pretty good. Uh, I heard a lot of good... A lot of the good people are gone, though, so no one really cares. So... I don't know if anything's gonna happen when I'm recording this, but... I don't know. I don't really keep up with the Olympics. I feel like I should. You know? I mean, it's the Olympics. But... I got, I got this to record and I have a lot of plans, you know? I'm, bu I'm a busy man. What is this outfit? Okay, whatever then. This is this is an interesting outfit. Did I switch the music? I think I did, right? I did not switch the music. Thank God I reminded myself. Good job, me. I've also added new music. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna ever use these. I don't feel like I will, but you know. It's interesting. But we're gonna go to our semi-main event as Brad Reinigans, the Olympian himself, taking on the NXT UK's Primate, and that match is going to happen right now. Oh boy. As my, as my laptop now sounds like it's about to fucking die. But here we go. My headphones have decided to fuck on me again. Hell yeah. That's what we're just going to do here, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to do that here at Machete Pro, and we're just going to call it a fucking day. But Brad Reinigans, he has taken the advantage here. Primate is no slacker. He's no Olympian, but... He's no slacker either. He's a former uh, WCPW hardcore champion, was a general manager there. Uh, had a little bit of a mini retirement, but got back into the ring shortly after After that. You might, you might see him at NXT UK nowadays. I, I rag on it, but we've seen a lot of people come through from there. Amir Jordan, I believe, last week picked up a win on the show. So Primate could, uh, could bounce off of that if, if he can. Of course, after this is our main event, uh, Keith Lee taking on Calvin Tankman. As I will mention before the main, there is going to be a very... Th th that match is going to have a lot of important implications of sorts. It's going to it's gonna have a very important thing there, and it will, of course, affect our next show, Machete Pro number 6. That's Primate gets by the match cover. It only gets a 1, though. Hey, he takes him down though. Oh, going for the headlock there. Brad Reinigans, as I mentioned, is a, an Olympian. I don't really know what he's done in the Olympics. I don't keep up with the Olympics, so there you go. But of course, he takes down. Primate going on the advantage here. Brad Reinigans is a, a sort of an established uh, amateur wrestler, sorts. Good friends with, uh, actually, I think he trained Brock Lesnar, who we've not really seen here in Machete Pro. Could probably see him going around here sometime. Maybe not, who knows? He's a busy man. He's got a life. He's got kids. He's got a wife. I don't. He's got a life and a wife. Me? I got neither of those. Brad Ryan gets really trying to pin Primate on the outside. I think he's forgotten how wrestling works, but, of course, really good opportunity to take at the, uh, very recent adjustments to the machete pro ring here of course new aprons new new mats new whoa new everything really probably yeah just just new everything you know it looks nice now you know i, I you know i don't hate on the old look but the, you, know, you gotta change the one you gotta make your own image you gotta you gotta be you and i feel it was time for the machete pro ring to to be gone to, to the old machete it needed to be changed cover though by Ra brad reinigan's it only gets a few, though. Of course, uh, our former referee, Laparka, we don't really know where, what happened to him. Could see, could see him come back sometime. Roll up, though. Could this be it? Oh, very close. Very, very close. Elbows to the back. Really enjoy adjusting those uh, wrist tape. Backslide to... No, very, very close. Brad Reinigans wanting to prove himself against the new school of professional wrestlers. 
really wanted to prove against one of the one of the UK's best wrestlers in Primate. As he gets a suplex, both men are tired. Primate with a clothesline taking Brad's head off. Uh, spear by Primate. That has to be it. That man is broken in half. It is not. Brad's still in it. Good lord. The old, the old man's got it. The old Hodgecott's got it. As he goes for an atomic drop and a path drop, that has to be One, it. Two. It's not, though. Brad Reinigan's getting the, getting the two on that one, not getting the three. I don't know. I almost said three. That would have been really awkward. Back body drop. Both men are tired. Primates back up, though. Irish whip and a wool. Turn around. One, Could this be two, it? Three. It's over. Brad Reinigan's proven he still got it. He still can hang with the new school of professional wrestlers. The Olympian picking up the W. No gold medal, but you know what? A W is a W. A win is a win. Good job to Brad Reinigan as he gets the tilt slam over. God damn it, my headphones. Of course, as I mentioned, tonight is our main event. Keith Lee, the limitless Keith Lee, taking on the heavyweight hustler, Calvin Tankman. And let me show you why this match is very important. Because for the longest time, I've, I've, I've done shows without a title, okay? You know, it's been, and it, it's been wondering in my mind, when am I gonna, when am I gonna bring in a title, right? You know, what's, what's the point of Machete Pro? Well, let me tell you what is the point of Machete Pro, because ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Machete Pro Gold Bold Championship. That's right, this belt, is the most important title in Machete Pro. And the reason I say this is important is because at our next show in Machete Pro number six, our main event for that match is going to be AJ Gray taking on Edith Surreal, taking on Maiko Satomura, and taking on whoever wins between Keith Lee and Calvin Tankman in a fatal, in a four way dance. It is going to be a very important matchup here. It is it is it is going to be super important here because it, everything is on the line. Of course, those four competitors are will be chosen as they have won the main event in Machete Pro. Of course, AJ Gray winning in the first main event against Darius Carter, Israel winning two main events in a row, even defeating AJ Gray, who is in this matchup, and defeating Jamie Senegal in the second show. And of course, in our fourth show, Maiko Satomura defeated Sasha Banks. So this, as I'm, as I'm mentioning, this next match, this main event, is super important to Machete Pro. Because, and, well, this could, this is going to also be important to whoever wins this matchup. As, of course, Keith Lee, the limitless Keith Lee, will take on the heavyweight hustler. Calvin Tankman. This match is going to be a bit interesting. It's going to be something. It's going to be... It's going to be a match. He's indestructible. The heavyweight hustler. He can say whatever you want about Tankman. But this is... This is going to be a battle of the big boys. This is two men just going to go at it. You know? it's And they're, they're fighting. They're going to fight to see who becomes the fourth competitor... Of our next main event at Machete Pro number six. Who will get to be with AJ Gray, Edith Surreal, and Maiko Satomura? Who is going to be the man? Who, who Who's going to be? Who's going to fight for that gold? Is it going to be Keith Lee? Is Keith Lee going to pick up another world title win? Could he become the Gold Bowl champion? Or will it be Calvin Tankman? We're going to find that out right now. As we go to our main event, and I forgot to switch the music. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to switch that. This is a very important match. Fight. Hold on. This is this is commercial. We're going to commercial. Don't mind it. Commercial break. Okay. We're going to we're going to go to commercial. All right. Don't mind all this. This is not important. We're going to have no run into a very important match. Everyone if anyone runs in they are banned and fired and everything and then they're dead. <laughs> that, that, that that's just important. This is a very important match. Okay, here we go. We're back from the commercial. We're we're here. We're live. This is an important main event. Keith Lee, Tank Man. Here we go. As I mentioned, Tank, 
Uh, Keith Lee is a former world champion. He's a former NXT champion and a former North American champion. The only man to have hold those two belts at the same time. Um, he's even defeated Randy Orton. I mean, how many people can say they've defeated Randy Orton? Not a lot of people. There's a reason why Randy Orton's a respected legend in this business. Calvin Takeman, though, he's he's not he's not a, he's not a joke. He's a big man. Cover though, he's he's someone that is you know you you gotta look out for the guy. He hasn't really made any names here, but he could pick up that win here tonight, and he could go on to face AJ Gray, Ida Surreal, and Satamora. And the World Cover gets a one though, very close. He could he could become a, the Gold Bowl champion here. It's it's the most meaningful prize here in the company. But Keith Lee, he's not, he's not an easy target. Sure, he's he's lost recently. He's not his his main roster run's not been the best, but he's no joke. The sky, it's not even the limit for Keith Lee. There is no limit for Keith Lee. I mean, he's limitless. As the Mongolian chops, Tank Manier. I mean, also let's keep in mind here, Keith Lee is a former PWG World Champion as well. You know, there's a lot of great names that have held that, those ti that title. You know, he's no joke. A lot of people have pointed at Keith Lee to become the future of professional wrestling, and he's he's made his name known. All right. And yeah, he has he has shit taste in music. Okay? I will agree. I mean Tom McDonald's really, but you know who cares? One, Cover though. Two. Very close. Tankman's chances could have gone right there. It could have been it. But Tankman with the power bomb and then Oh! Oh my god, he just lifted up Keith Keith Lee's back up though. He said, Yeah, I'm not yeah, no, you're gonna have to do better than that, my man. He is not gonna give this man any doubt. I mean, Tankman picks up the win here. It could be an impressive upset. Good lord. You know, but Keith Lee could also pick up the win here. At the clothesline, Tankman gets a big old tackle. Oh, he picks up Ushi. Oh, not Ushi. Ushi. Cover. Two. two. Oh. Again, as I mentioned, these two know what's at stake here. They, they, they know. They want to be champion. Both of these men want to become the world champion. Keith Lee, he's not, he's not going to give Tank Man a break, you know, both big men in their own right, but he is not going to let this slip. Of course, I mean, if you were, you know, the other three competitors for the ne for next week's main event, you'd have to watch tapes of these two, I mean, you'd have to, whoa, Spirit Bomb, two, two. Keith Lee is going to Machete Pro 6, I gotta give a hand to Tankman though. Oh man, Keith Lee though, there is no limit for that man. And he could, I mean, we could call him the first Machete Pro Gold Bowl champion. We, we could do it here. He could become the first champion as he picks up the win. I mean, I, it breaks my heart, man. You know, Tankman's a good guy. But, again, Keith Lee is limitless for a reason. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event for our next show is going to be AJ Gray, Edith Surreal, Maiko Satamora, and Keith Lee. That, that's an impressive match. I mean, that's... It, it, it's, it's something. And Tankman, man, I feel bad. I've mentioned it before. i mentioned it several times. I feel bad for the guy. But, you know, there's always next time for Tank Calvin Tank Man. It's not over for the heavyweight hustler. There's always next time. And, you know, hey, who knows? He could become the champion. You know, he he could, if, if, if he plays his cards right, he could get a shot at that title. You know, but, I mean, it is, it is what it is. But, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you for watching Machete Pro number 5, Fight the Future. Um, this, is, this has been a very short... Uh, very short video almost I think it's almost like 50 minutes I might be one of our shortest when it comes to this but I mean it is it is what it is but you know 
appreciate everyone for watching. I also appreciate, also, I super, super appreciate the watch, the likes and the views and the, you know, I, I appreciate everyone taking the time out for watching the videos and liking them, you know, it's, it's, it helps me out, you know, even if it's like a short little bit of time, whatever, you know, if you, less than a minute, more than a minute, I, I appreciate everyone for watching these videos because it really kind of gives me, it gives me something to do, you know, I love doing these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these because uh, school's coming up very soon, and I, I believe I start on the August twenty August twenty third is when I start. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep these going for long. I'm not ending these, but I think it's mostly one of those like I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them in the fall. So we might take a little bit of hiatus uh, during the the fall season. But yeah, I mean I appreciate it. Uh, I, I've, I've said that numerous times, but yeah, I, honestly, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone for watching these videos. I appreciate every single one of you who follow uh, twitter.com slash midwestmachete. That's where you're going to get all Machete Pro updates on the site. You know, also, where you'll see the match cards for those sh for the show. So if you want to know what matches are going to be on the next show, of course, as I mentioned, our main event is going to be a four-way dance for the, f to be for the, for the first... Uh, for the first champion the first machete bro machete pro gold bowl champion so i hope you guys like this video comment subscribe press that bell it really helps with the algorithm and all that jazz you know i want to i want to get these videos out there i want i want people to have more you know i want people to watch more content for fire pro you know i want to give more of a chance for others and what have you but yeah like comment subscribe share this share this to your family share this to your friends share this to whoever you want if they like this kind of stuff and we will see you for machete pro number six it is going to be a very important show so i highly recommend everyone to come in and watch it i have been paulie b the owner slash commentator slash announcer slash whatever you want to call them i appreciate it and once again i'm gonna repeat the fuck out of myself for that but we appreciate it and we hope to see y'all next week for machete pro number six Bye bye <laughs>